Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast. Today, I'm talking about your work-life balance. Are you ready? Let's get started. Now, I've talked about work-life balance on Remarkable TV before, and if you're watching, you can check out the links here. If you're listening on the podcast, all of those links will be in the show notes. But when we talk about work-life balance, there's some facts that not everyone acts on. So let's talk about some facts, get some things straight, help you be a little bit more successful, shall we? Here we go. First, you have a work-life balance. Now, a lot of people are focusing on this, uh, this idyllic place they're trying to get to, but you have one now. It might be imbalanced. It might not be what you want, but you already have one, number one. And everyone's is different. The next question is important, and that is, is the one you have now, is it serving you? If it's serving you, great. Maybe you should stop worrying about trying to create something else, right? Trying to mimic someone else that seems to have it, something you don't have. Is it serving you? Now, if it's not serving you, then the rest of this video is going to be especially important because we've got to make sure that we've got a work-life balance that's working for us at work and in the rest of our lives. I heard someone today call this the professional and personal balance. It's another way to think about it, okay? Next, consult those in your life. Now, maybe you want to consult your boss or other people at work, but really what I'm saying here is consult the people in your life, the people that you live with, the people that are close to you. Are you getting feedback from them that says, it looks like you're out of balance, or I'm not getting what I need, or your work-life balance, Kevin, isn't serving me, which might be a cue or clue for you, right? So consult those in your life. Next, focus on your situation. I said this a minute ago, don't mimic someone else. Don't say, man, they seem to have it all together, but rather say, what is it that I need now, right? So if 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 the balance that you have, the amount of time and focus you're spending isn't quite right, then what would it like, would you like to be? How would you adjust it or change it, right? Because the fact is, work-life balance is personal. Yes, you need to know how it relates to your own work. And yes, you need to know how it relates to the other people in your life. But ultimately, it belongs to you. To judge someone else's work-life balance as being out of whack is only that, a judgment. Maybe it works for them. Now, in my observation, most people aren't really asking that question, how is it serving you, very well. But the reality is, don't look at other people. Focus on getting your own house, your own balance, balanced, if you will, right? At the end of the day, work-life balance is personal. Make sure it's serving you. Let me close with today's tweet. Don't mimic someone else. Finding your work-life balance is personal. Work-life balance is continuing to be a challenge for people, especially in and maybe because of this work uh, remote and work hybrid and all of those changes in the future of our workplace. So if you'd like to learn more and get more focused on being successful in a future of work that's different, you could join us for the remote work newsletter. It comes out once a week in your email inbox for free. Hope you'll do that. All the information is here, or if you're listening on the podcast, on the show notes. And if you'll do that, I'll love that. But either way, I'll be back next week with another episode of Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast.